Rebel Knight to step. Wow. Racing on this occasion, Reign of Fire, the last of them to leave the gates, will be back there at the tail of the field. London Mist, the first of them to go and away well also. Guns of Navarone up there, Rebel Knight being followed on the rails down force. Then Miss Vasari back with only that pair behind her, including Megazone and Reign of Fire. Leaving the back, they go past the 900. London misses the pilot. Three quarters to a length in front of Guns of Navarone. A length and a half away then came Rebel Knight. On the inside, next of all, is down force Megazone. Then, then came Miss Vasari, who'd got shunted back second from last with Reign of Fire. So the two fancies back there at the Taylors. London Miss controls proceedings at the 500. Uh, approaching the home turn, London Miss just in front of Guns of Navarone. Megazone going up with Rebel Knight. So they'll be nearly four across the track at the top of the straight. Behind them, looking for the way clear. Down force Miss Vasari also searching for a run. But Reign of Fire peeled to the outside for two and is starting to let down Will. They come past the 200 mega zone, joined by Rain of Fire. Behind those then, Miss Vasari, she got caught flat-footed when getting held up, and Rain of Fire dashed away from them. It's Rain of Fire opening right up, drawing away, and he's going to win it brilliantly. Rain of Fire has won it, came from last to score three and a half mega zone, London Miss. Fourth is Miss Vasari. And they were followed by downforce, the stablemate Guns of Navarone, and whipping them all in is Rebel Knight. Reign of Fire, Jordy Turner for the Colin Webster stable. The three-year-old son of Trade Fair bounces back this afternoon. Been a while, a long while since those uh, very promising days when he put together back-to-back -to -back victories as a two-year-old. But Reign of Fire returns today to the winner's list after that lengthy absence. Ran here last Saturday, got through the soft very well. He's handled the heavy 10 today absolutely sublimely. Beats Megazone London, Miss the favourite, Miss Vasari. She got caught up, couldn't quite let down when Parnham was hoping for a bit of luck to go his way. Had to steady up and then hook to the outside. The bird had flown by then. Rain of fire was burning. For Glenn Forrest, DC Forrest, and uh, also uh, Brett Lording, trained by Colin Webster and written by Geordie Turner. Rain of fire saluting here from number six, Megazone. By Eurozone out of Mega, Ash Maley, Sean McGruddy for London Miss, the pace setter by City Place out of great tradition, Lucy Warwick for the Bruce Watkins Yard, Miss Vasari officially fourth, three and a half lengths, three quarters of the margins, 115.18 posted for the 1200 on this heavy 10 and 36.47 the split. But uh, good to see him back this afternoon, Rain of Fire. His runs have been all pretty good this preparation. He produced a beauty first up. He's not been that far from them in subsequent runs, but today back there last, hooked to the outside and just uh, really got into the race beautifully at the 200 mark untouched from Geordie Turner. The uh, next event, race eight, the Amelia Park Handicap. Three goes to Walks, nine Agent Kensington both coming out there, leaving us with a field of eight to do battle. As we head back into the winner's circle, and it's been quite some time since Rain of Fire frequented that exact spot, Brittany. It has 406 days to be precise. Darren and I have Colin Webster in the yard. And Mr Webster, it has been a little while, but how have you viewed this horse's campaign? He's never been far away. No, he hasn't. He's been super consistent. Um, nothing brilliant until today, but he's been super consistent, uh, Brittany. So I thought if he puts in a good run today, he should be nearly in the money. What were you thinking during the run? Good. That's where we wanted him back last. He waited for the one run. He likes to settle back. He had good cover. He didn't race wide. He only let him go in the straight. And that was our plan to do. What's the key going forward for a horse that's, you know, consistently placing or running fourth? What do you need to do to be able to get him back into the winner's circle consistently? Well, I think just keep what we're doing because he's, he's very honest and consistent and without winning. But... Today, he's, uh, I, think, I think the weaker part suited him too because he pulled up that well from last week. I said to the owners, I want to run him again this week, and they agreed, so here we are. Hopefully it's onwards and upwards with a bit of confidence for him. Well done. Thank you very much, Brittany. There's Colin Webster after the victory of Reign of Fire. Geordie Turner knows him well, and he's with Scott. Certainly does. Geordie, now, while this horse hasn't won all preparation, he's been racing really well, and I dare say the other day you probably felt like the winner turning for home. Yeah, he, um, he's been racing very consistent. Um, Today it all sort of panned out pretty well, small field, and I knew I had them all covered pretty early out, but um, obviously my only danger was Chris, but he was sort of a bit far off him at the time, and no, Rain of Fire was too strong and 
actually hit the line a lot better today. Does that really suit him today, going back to last and just being saved up for that one burst of speed that he has? And that probably is his best weapon. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think he's that's the way to ride him, especially in them small fields. He can cover them up pretty easy. But, uh, yeah, look, I think going forward we could, we could look at that. What about in the last glamour pack, any love for her? Yeah, we've been changing up her work a little bit at home and doing a few little things different. So, no, hopefully she's going to see your race. Best of luck. Well done. Thanks. Cheers. There's Geordie Turner after the victory of Reign of Fire. and.